How do you know everything isn't an illusion? How can you know for certain any particular claim is true? <laughs> well, because everything isn't an illusion. What does it mean to say something's an illusion? That it's not real, but I, you know, it's real. I touched it, I see it. Now, you're saying, no, everything about you is deceiving you about this bottle of water. And my question to you, you're making a claim, is what evidence do you have of that? Other than it's a mind experiment that you can play in your head. What evidence do you have for that? What evidence do you have that all my senses, all my faculties, are functioning against me? Are functioning against me knowing anything? That my sense of sight and my sense of touch are coordinated in a way to deceive me? I mean, is there any evidence? And the answer is unequivocally no. There's no evidence you're just a brain in a vat. There's no evidence that you're just what is it, the matrix, none of that, and therefore claiming that it's all an illusion is arbitrary. There's nothing, there's no argument for it. And the arbitrary for objectivists has no cognitive status. It's not false. To say that everything is an illusion is not false. It's not true. It's just nothing. It's not a statement. It's not anything that has any cognitive validity and therefore can be dealt with cognitively. Because how would I approach trying to disprove that everything is an illusion? I'd have to relate whatever you are claiming to reality, to my senses, to my mind. But wait a minute, you're claiming all of those are invalid. So you're invalidating my only mechanism by which to argue one way or the other. So it's a complete mind game that has no value and has no relevance and has no standing in thinking. It's not thinking. Talk about fantasy. It's pure fantasy with no connection to any reality or to any mechanism by which one can think. Uh, what was the second part of that? How can you know for certain any particular claim is true? This bottle is in my hand. How do I know it for certain? Because I see it. Because I feel it. Because I can look at it from multiple angles and verify that my first look was not false. I can bring it closer. I can bring it further. And I can examine it. And I'm still not sure. Maybe it's not a bottle. Maybe it's not. I can actually study its chemical composition. And, you know, so uh, I have multiple ways in which to validate what I'm seeing. But at the end, the validation is I can see it. I can feel it. I can touch it. Right? So my senses sometimes can deceive me. But my senses are the only way for me to discover, to discover that they deceive me. So, at the end of the day, the only way to know something for certain is to see it, to touch it, to hear it, and to validate it by use of reason. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. 
Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.